there everyone and welcome to the new tutorial of Arnold. In this tutorial I will show you how to create an x-ray effect or, uh, or you can say holographic effect. So let's begin. So I have this model of the uh, skull of a uh, robotic skull as you can see. Now what I will do is go to windows node editor and I'm gonna clear the graph. I'm going to expand it, clear the graph and I'm going to type AI standard surface here ok then I'm going to create a AI multiply and I'm going to create AI facing ratio ok We will create three three shaders. One is standard surface, multiply, and facing ratio. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the AI standard surface and go to the attributes, and I'm gonna node the multiply in the color okay, here, and I'm gonna increase the weight to one and go to color input one and I'm gonna select a nice blue color here let's say this color okay and I'm gonna input the facing ratio in multiply input two okay here okay then I'm gonna select invert and I'm gonna gain to around to 1.9 bias 576 or 600 okay nice now let's select the geometry and I'm gonna apply the material here okay now what we're gonna do is close the node editor and I'm gonna start Arnold okay as you can see nice it's give me a nice extra effect and you can further adjust the node from here transmission okay let me close it okay and now you can go to the emission color input to okay the more gain in the less it will be visible okay here right or we can improve the color by there we go and for the final effect what we're gonna do is create a light effect here AOME images add images lens effect okay and I'm gonna increase the strength to around 2 and the threshold really really low 0 0.150 as you can see radius around 4 Okay, so we can create this extra effect in Arnold through procedural texturing without any third party textures or plugins. Uh, you can increase the quality of the rendering by let's say here. We don't want any triple S, we don't want any volume. 
and we also can, can decrease the camera here and let's render it here right now let me turn on the film get here As you can see here, it's nice, clean and a nice effect to your render. It will make your render very very good. So I hope you like it and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.